啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。When a confidential source told me there was a place in Hazelwood that addicts go to, I put on my reporter's hat. You like it? My kids got it for me. Anyway, I I, I launched an investigation. I'm staking the place out. There it is. Traffic outside was heavy. After watching a lot of seemingly normal citizens go inside, I busted into the place. It's a nice joint, but full of addicts. They hustle something called bridge in here. These people are players, all right. They think it's some kind of a game. What are these things? These are boards. What do they do? You can see it through the night uh, that people take the boards out and play them. These are the cards that you're going to play. Basic clubs. My investigation uncovers that while a player can get a regular fix at other places in town, community centers, retirement homes, can you believe that? Retirement homes, this is the only place in all of St. Louis that exists full-time just to satisfy these addicts' cravings. And it's been going on here for almost 15 years. The writing's on the wall. They are hooked. And it gets pretty intense. You didn't look at my hand because no, I I'm didn't. showing it. <laughs> They go at it all evening long, weekends too, using blacks and reds. They sit in groups of four, but there's very little crosstalk. They play it close to the chest. And when they do talk, it's some sort of terminology the average person could never understand, some sort of inside jargon, slang of the culture. Trumpet, please. Play small. Play the nine. A small diamond. Yes. I have no idea what you're talking about. I just know you kept saying play small a lot. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, it meant for him just to play. The lowest card on, on, the, the, on the table. The lowest card? The lowest card on the table is what it means. What do you say if you want to play the highest card? Uh, Go up. Oh, it makes sense, I guess. <laughs> the addiction runs strong. It's easy to see that once you get drawn into it, it's impossible to stop. It is like sex. Once you try it, you can't quit. <laughs> don't publish that. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't put that on TV. But everybody heard it and knew what he meant, right? <laughs> this is one bad Jones. No, tru truthfully, it's something that once you do it once, you want to go back and back and back. But why? I mean, it, it's the same way it is with heroin, isn't it? No, 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 no. It's competitive. It's mental combat. Okay. It's mental combat. Everybody here is a friend before and after the play of the cards, but not during. <laughs> combat, he calls it. That's the street talking. But how does a normal person find this place and get a habit like this? I'm going to ask how addictive Bridges, you might want to ask Marge. She's from New Jersey. She just moved here about six months ago, and she's a newbie. Ask her why she's addicted. So like the man said, I gave Marge the newbie the third degree. She said it started out as some kind of party. I used to play, you know, party. friends, party bridge. But this, then, is, this is serious bridge here, This is it? serious. Yeah, I'm addicted. <laughs> Why? It's just very absorbing. It's fun. It's just a lot of fun, really, you know. Well, would you use my definition that it's like sex? No. <laughs> oh. Once you try it, you want to do it again? No. <laughs> One player even encouraged her grandson to get involved, her own grandson. Oh, yes, he's very interested in things. He's very, very interested in games. Do you want to get him addicted, too? Uh, it doesn't take very much to become addicted. <laughs> Some people are always quitting. They're never going to play again until the next day. Ain't that just the textbook definition of an addict? You're bridge junkies, right? <laughs> My investigation reveals that some are more addicted than others, but they all like to score. One player in the room right now that has 6,000 points. In the unit, we have 100 players that have over 2,000 points. The most you get at a game tonight, for example, East-West will get .90, which is 9 tenths of one point. Whoa, so to get 2,000 or 6,000 points. That's a big <laughs> Yes. 
They seem like nice, normal people, regular folks, but then they got hooked. They'll turn to anything, whether it's above board or under the table. And I don't see any kicking under the table. Or any, no, any that's against seat. the rules. That's totally against But if there's a good-looking man across the table, you might as well try. <laughs> I that, would that, kick him. That, 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 thou shall not be caught. <laughs> Bridge is no different than any other game. <laughs> Bridge. It's a harsh, gritty, underbelly St. Louis thing. Okay, okay. So it's not a big scandal. It's people enjoying playing cards at Bridgehaven. It's just a better story if... Oh, well. For HEC TV reports, I'm Aaron Mermelstein. La, 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 la.